Greetings, Minecrafters, and welcome to another Minecraft discussion in this gorgeous foliage in northern Vermont. Oh my gosh, you know, no offense to zoom backdrops. Yeah, we can offend, I think, because you just can't improve on these graphics. I mean, there's just no way. It's the real deal. Okay, my name is Kimberly Coyne, and I am just elated to be with you here today having yet another discussion. And today I want to talk about, because this is obviously Minecraft is about well-being, right? Actually, the actual blurb in the in the catalogs of the for the Minecraft class is Minecraft colon, uh, um, the science or psychology, anyway, one of those, of optimal human functioning and life satisfaction, right? It's about becoming the boss of your brain. And here's the ticket. There's one thing for sure that you just cannot have, well, there's more than one thing you can't have well-being without. And one of them is exercise. You're like, oh, I don't know. You know, no matter what else you're doing, you're doing all the gratitude stuff, huge box check there. I mean, I'm not a box checker, I do because I want to do it. But anyway, the gratitude, the mindfulness, uh, the relationships, we talk about all these components to well-being. And here's the thing, a person cannot be fully mentally healthy with the highest level of well-being, highest level of happiness if they're not exercising. It's just true. It's just a fact. And we're not we're not talking about oh look at there was a frost. Oh that's pretty. It means snow's coming. Okay, so it doesn't mean you have to be a gym rat or you have to take up and exert yourself in something you don't want to do. In fact it's the opposite. It's really important that it's something that you do like to do and it doesn't have to be, you know, some like like you know rigorous you know, like you're, uh, like you are, um, you know, in boot camp in the, in the, in the Marines or something. No, but we are wired to move. We are wired to move. And we know for a fact that, that exercise boosts the mood. It, absolutely. I mean, neurochemically speaking, because the mind and body are one unit, really, sort of, and in, are connected. Let's say that the mind and body are strongly connected. And in fact, people will say, or it's been said, that if you want to know what's going on in the mind, just ask the body. Think about all the forms of dis-ease that are out there. It's because of what's going on in here, and they manifest in the, in the, in the body, right? And so it's of, it, it, is of, it, it is essential to get out there and do something. And then it, now you can, you can feed two birds with one hand, so to speak, if you're also doing whatever you're doing in nature. So being on an exercise bike, which I do four days a week, um, because also winter's coming, I ski and all that, but um, skiing is, an, is not as aerobic, at least not downhill skiing, it's anaerobic, which is all muscle building, which is great. But, uh, you know, it gets a little, a little tougher to run up here um, when it's in the winter, so I have an exercise bike too. But the thing is the cardio is, is super important for a million different reasons. So the happiness level, also memory, if, you know, if, if you, was be, a lot of people think that, you know, cognitive decline is inevitable and here's the ticket. No, it isn't. Now, obviously we can't control the wild cards, you know, genetics. And let's say somebody has early onset something in their family. And it doesn't mean we can't do everything. We can do lots and lots and lots to prevent it without, without that sort of, uh, more the exception, right? Uh, we can prevent way more than people think we can. And one of the biggies for 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 cognitive clarity is exercise. So if you want to try to prevent, you know, sitting in a rocking chair on somebody's porch with an afghan on your lap, you could we can. We can for the most part do that. Unless there's something that's that's you know huge and, and uh, genetic. And so exercise is the ticket. It increases blood flow, which also increases the blood flow of brain cells. So it's it's a big, big, big deal. And the other thing is we feel better. We just plain feel better. So it doesn't also mean you can't miss a day. Like I like to run. And obviously I'm walking every day. I've been doing more walking and hiking than running just because of the pound, pound, pound. But actually I think I'm going to embrace that again soon too because it feels like the walking is great. The hikes are great. But I feel like I just missed the running too anyway. So it doesn't mean you can't miss a day because it's it's a chronic thing. So if we're basically running, walking, you know, swimming, doing whatever, you know, most of the time. And then if we miss a day here and there, it still is cognitively, you know, uh, good for the memory and good for the body and good for the overall happiness. And I'll tell you, especially for those who, <clears throat> good for everyone, but especially those who are struggling with anxiety and depression, that is probably 
the number one thing you want to do is, is get out and move. And again, if you can be outside, it's just a double dip. You know, the gym is good too, but if you can do whatever you're doing outside, because, and not to say anxiety and depression aren't a little more complicated and everything, but the fact is, the, the being outside and the exercising reminds the mind that our physicalness matters and that it's connected. And so it also helps with um, getting out of our head. You know, people who are anxious and depressed are, also, are often really trapped in their heads. And if you can get out and exercise, especially with someone else, is also good. That is going to help you significantly from um, sort of the urge to isolate, which just further spirals down for anybody with either one of those things. So that's it. Get out and exercise. It, it, it is so, so huge for well-being and cannot, cannot be at the top tier mental health high flying disc well-being without exercising that's just how it is awesome so get outside today this is kimberly quinn signing off with little g in the beautiful notch at northern vermont have a mindful physical day